of course, has never been our target to simply break it. We want to smash it by at least a month. We want to smash the fucking worst day. You know, it's always saying, things are good, things are good, we make it, we make it. But things aren't good. That's yeah, it. things are not always good. Uh, you've got to be careful with blood poisoning, you know, because I had open wounds on my, my back, you know. Ready for the desert? Couldn't eat or drink, and I felt so weak. I really thought if I carry on, I might, have, I might die. Suffering from the food poisoning, it's one of the toughest days I ever had on the bike. The people are wonderful, They're amazing people, but apart from that part, from the people, it's just hell for cycling. Hello from Ethiopia. And then I got to Ethiopia and I, I said, no, worst times are coming. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, the road was blocked, there were demonstrations. The people uh, went for days on the, on, the, on the road, blocking the traffic and everything, and more than 100 people died. So I, I, really, I simply didn't know what, what's going to happen. Oh! There's uh, cockroaches everywhere, uh -huh. and like cockroaches, cockroaches Whoa. everywhere. Right? Africa always have, has a bad surprise for you, basically daily. Crazy things here in Kenya. It's a dirt road, and it always heads to 400k. So wildlife starts to get a bit more interesting. Look at this. That was a bit unexpected. unexpected. <laughs> It was a non-stop headwind all the way across uh, South Africa. I really got to my limit. In South Africa I gave everything I had. The finish line is then, then really like that close. Your adrenaline is taking over and for me there is, there's nothing more enjoyable than actually working towards a big goal.